Yes, guys, this digital paper pattern makes $1,168 a month, guys. And look at it. The listing's only been up for like one month. It's crazy. Total sales 39 at $30 a pop, making $1,168 a month, guys. And it's literally the newest thing you'll see. Let me show it to you very quickly, guys. And guys, if you do like digital products and you do like... Um, creating and selling digital products for all that fantastic passive income please hit the like subscribe smash the notification bell and don't forget i want to show you exactly how to create something like this right now using mid journey guys so check it out this is the exact listing guys that i just showed you right 1168 uh, has been up for like one month and it's already making that much guys and it's not hard it's like a paper digital paper pattern look at it is these five it says five repeat patterns and um these are the patterns right these are the different style patterns that they've got and it's the easiest thing to create honestly like it's an instant download obviously pdf download um and guys look i mean there, there isn't anything easier than this to create honestly and i'm going to show you exactly how to do this in this video so stay tuned so guys look this is fantastic passive income, you know, selling something like this that earns over a thousand dollars that's just been up for one month on Etsy listing um, is really cool, right? Now, you know, I've showed you lots of videos of different digital products, but I think this one is probably the easiest thing to do. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it right now. So, you know, the digital, this, this space is an interesting space. Um, and I'm going to show you like, um, just, just show you the product really. Uh, let me just go onto the page. Okay, let me just get onto the pro onto the page, right? Let me just get out of this. I've already typed in digital paper. So I typed in digital paper, guys, right? And you know, you've got all these kind of different sort of types here. And obviously the one I showed you is one of them. So you've got like, for example, the boho seamless digital paper. You've got a classic animal print um, um, uh, paper, which is this. This is quite nice as well. Um, there's many different types of paper, if you like, that they are selling. Um, there's the, there's the animal print style. Um, so, like I said, there's many different types, and it's all digital, it's all downloadable. Um, so, these are the things that uh, you know are, people are selling. And some people think, oh no, are they? Is it real? Are they people selling these? Well, yeah, because it is selling. That's why it's yeah. Um, so you know it's a, it's a fantastic market to get into i believe it's a really cool one and look all these different i'll tell you what's quite popular that i've noticed and that's why i'm going to show you how to create it is the floral types so the floral digital paper um these ones these these types um people seem to like the florals and they seem to sell very well so i think i'm going to create something like this but to be honest with you you know look at here you've got the glitter style you got the ivory style. You got this style, watercolor flowers. You got the spring floral. So I talk, like I said, fl flowers are, are really popular. But then you got these really nice ones. These are uh, seamless pink hues and tones. And then you got these all, all these watercolor is also very popular. Look at this. These are quite nice um, textured ones. So, you know, there's many different types for many different people and different tastes, right? Quite simple, right? So, um, we're just going to look at this very quickly, all right? We're going to try and create something like this. But I'm going to stick to the kind of floral theme because, as I've said, I, I kind of, I think it's very, very popular and people do like them. And there's a lot of buying in this kind of niche within digital paper, right? And again, this is the other thing. So when you're looking at typing in and you're trying to rank and sell, you know, obviously, like I said, I use Everbee, which gives me the product analytics um, and uh, sort of also helps you rank. And like I said, um, check out the links in my description for all the softwares that I use, um, but do check out Everbee. And then what you can do is you can obviously analyze what ones are doing well. So like I said, I've just typed in digital paper and you got it's got a huge amount of results, obviously. But you see, when you niche down and you do you say like pattern or floral, you know, it kind of it, it, it kind of brings it down where you're able to rank within these niche words, because obviously you want long tail keywords to niche down into. 
So these are more floral only types and obviously it has less competition. And again, it's about it's about niching down really. But anyway, um, I'm going to leave talking about, let's say, you know, making, you know, ranking and so on. I'm just going to go into creating this digital paper pattern that I feel like is, is a real gold mine as long as you make sure you're in the ni nice, uh, the right niche. Sorry. Anyways, so... So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump on to Midjourney because, look, Midjourney is my favorite go-to um, AI, AI creator. Um, it's fantastic. I mean, look at my, check out my videos. I love using Midjourney. Midjourney is the one. So check out this one. Look, Community Showcase. Look, these are the, this, I'm just showing you this to show you the quality, the kind of, the, the quality of what it can produce. Look at that, like, look at that leopard there on the left. Amazing. Look at the, the look at these images, right? Look at that, like look at that, look at that. Um, it's just crazy. The cakes, they look real. You know, the quality that Mid Journey produces is I don't know. I just think is absolutely fam fabulous, absolutely fabulous, guys. It's, it's, the quality is amazing. You know, I really think the quality is you know something else. So. Um, right, so let's get into like creating something, okay? So after you've signed in, now obviously you need to sign in, you need to get onto the Discord, and then also there are three tiers of subscription. T to be honest, they're very cheap to, to get onto. I think mine might be uh, the £15 dollar one. But, you know, there are there are different tiers to actually subscribe to Midjourney. Um, so do check it out, you know. Um, mine is... Mine is it's very it's quite the cheapest version actually cheapest tier but um like i said it's very very affordable but the amount of things that you can produce is is amazing so okay so what i'm doing here is um okay so what i'm going to do here is literally this is mid journey this is my uh, mid journey sort of uh discord if you like channel where I've obviously, you know, signed up and I've got my own sort of space to create what I want. Now, sometimes you're going to have to type in different prompts. Now, prompts are like keywords that you're yeah, 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 that you're typing up to create a design. Now, this is something that I've created before. So what I did was my prompt for this one say was boho style art on white background using brown, black and orange geometric shapes. And then obviously what it's produced is something like that design that you can see in front of you, okay? So it's about typing up keywords and obviously with all of these, I've typed up specific prompts. Now, if you've seen my other video when I talk about coloring pages, um, all I typed up was, all I wrote was in, in the prompt, the keywords was baby lion coloring page. And this is the the, the page that I produced, coloring page up is really cute. Um, little baby lion amazing and and that's what it produced straight away for me okay but the prompts are the words that you use um so you know i'm gonna write a prompt um so i'm gonna say floral um pattern floral pattern pattern in the style because I want a style, right? Of, and I might have. I, I, I like William Morris, right? William Morris is an amazing arts and crafts. Well, he started the arts and crafts movement. Anyone want to know about William Morris? Just done a quick Google there. William Morris, this guy, like when I did, because um, I studied design and I wrote about William Morris. And there you go. William Morris was a British textile designer, poet, artist, writer, uh, conservationist. Um, printer and created was one of the main guys in the arts and crafts movement so he's got a certain style he loves floral styles natural styles uh, and things like that and he was very known known for creating sort of floral designs so i like his i like his style right i do like his style so i've typed in floral pattern the style of william morris right let's see if it actually creates something mid journey is going to create for me something in the style of what he produces um like i said so when you look at William Morris and his designs, I'm just going to go to images very quickly, right? So you can see here some of the styles of what William Morris is known for, these kind of floral designs, okay? Um, 
look at these ones as well look at these now have that in mind right have that in mind and then obviously let's see what mid journey produces now look at this look at this now to me the uh, mid journey's got this on point guys on point look i produced four it produces four different versions of what you've asked it to do so four different styles um and uh you know obviously with these ones these are four different you know styles so look at this look at this guys look so it's produced four different designs exactly in the style of william morris <laughs> it's crazy look don't you think look, look, look. some of these see it's got that similar kind of look right that similar look it's crazy it is crazy right ai is just crazy mad so anyways um so i'm coming back right i like so what it says is you can upscale them and you can look at another version um, so I'm going to upscale one, two, three, this one, right? Third one, one, two, three, this one. Upscale that third one. That one's, you know, nice looking, not decent. You know, the style that I kind of want. There you go. Nice floral style. Obviously, I can make variations or remaster it. There you go, right? Open it up in the browser. Now, that's that's obviously a, a style now if i didn't like that or, or if i if i wanted to go further look you can actually simply if you wanted to like get another four versions right i could just copy what i've just said the prompt go to imagine because you start with imagine with your prompt words i could paste them in um And then just, you know, you can either tweak words or keep the words. It's up to you, right? So I might say floral floral design and the style of William Morris. I might even just change the word from, from pattern to design, right? I do want to keep the pattern, but I just want to see what else it produces. You could even write the whole thing exactly the same, all the prompts, but um, but change a word or two, right? So again, you know, like it's going to give me, you know, some floral uh, designs. Um, again, in the style of William Morris, hopefully. These are quite nice as well. So look, you can see also in the corner, it's going up by 62%, 78% until it gets to 100%, right? Look at these. These are nice. These are actually, oof, look at that. Wow right these are amazing right really nice really intricate like i like this uh they're all nice um but i'm gonna stick to the top the first one right i'm gonna go to the first one and i'm gonna just upscale that first one that's it i've chosen i'm going for that i really like that now i'm gonna explain something right to you guys now taking this thing the thing about mid journey is amazing but one thing I will say, now if you wanted to take this design, obviously you can download it. So you can right click, right click, save image and save it in your computer, right? That's it. You're done, nearly. However, if um, to get the, because obviously when you're selling this, you want the quality, the pixels, um, you want it to be really clear and really sharp. Now think about mid journey, it's not as clear as it should be or as it can be. And what I will say is that you need to take it to take the image, save it on your computer, and upload it on something like an upscaler. Now, I'll explain what that is. So if you go, like uh, I use a few, but if you check out AVC Labs, for example, and I'll, I'll leave a link in my description. So AVC Labs, if you, if you bring in an image, so let's say you've got an image there that you can see on the screen. You can see the mountain with the, with the people. Well, let me just scroll across. What it'll do is it'll make it really, really clear. It will upscale it, make the resolution, you know, it will increase the image resolution and make it really clear with, with great quality. And that's what you need because when you upload it onto Etsy, you want the, the resolution to be super clear. Um, so that's what I suggest you do. Save it and then upload it on something like AVC Labs, which will give you a fantastic upscale ready to kind of, you know, print if you like or ready to use digital paper on Etsy. Um, so, yeah. And then what you would probably need to do is, 
yeah you can you can use it as it is like i said you can do that and just use it as it is but let's say you've copied it and you've upscaled it now i'm just going to just show you for example then you can jump onto something like canva like again canva you see the link in my description canva is like my go-to place for various things so let's say i've got my a4 size let's say it's an a4 size digital paper and i've upscaled it and i'm pasting my design onto canva let's say right um, so what I would do is I would, I would just make sure I got my paper on, on A4, so maybe something like this. And then, uh, obviously if I want to add more pages, if you've got other pages, then you can add them here, or I might just take it as a PDF because obviously you can sell this once you upload it as an Etsy listing, um, on, a, on, a, on, a, on Etsy as a PDF. So look, I can, uh, I might use it as a sort of PDF um okay i might use a pdf print pdf standard wherever it is you can save it whatever you like what i suggest you do is to go and check out what the stores how the stores are selling these so for example i come across here you can see that this is digital download one pdf right see what the people that are working that that, that they're selling really well how they're doing this um you know what file types they're using and also look at the sizes as well you can see here's the length and sizes that they've also included and all the good sellers you'll see that will give they'll they'll have maybe some um sizes um and that work so you need to kind of just just check for that as well but let's say for example let's say um it's a pdf that is used so you might just go for pdf um and then you would um download it okay so i might just click download once i've put it onto that page i've used an a4 size however you could just double check and see what the probably the standard is used for this type of thing and then look in my corner here in the bottom left you can see my pdf document is done right there's my pdf and that's my pdf uh, document now obviously looking at this you're going to see that the image is not as clear but remember what i said when you upscale it this is going to be super clear so that'll be absolutely fine um, but yeah, guys, that is all you need to do. And then obviously you're going to create your listing and then bring up. And like I said, with, uh, what's fantastic about, um, my SEO software ever be is that it gives you an idea about, you know, let's say the good listings, you know, what keywords, what tags they're using. Okay. Because you want to see the tags. So for example, with digital paper patterns, you can see digital art, watercolor, colorful floral all of these are the volume that people search for on a monthly basis so adding these key ta keyword tags in your listing would obviously give you a fantastic chance of ranking and on top of that remember remember what i said about niching down so niching down being obviously make sure that you're niching into not only um digital paper because that's got a lot of volume but it's hard to rank but Make sure you're ranking in digital paper flowers, for example. And flowers is really good because not only um, is it something that's really popular, so hopefully you'll get a lot of sales, um, but obviously it's a smaller niche. And obviously there are many, many other niches you can get into with digital paper, but that's just an example of one. So guys, if you did like the video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. Don't forget to check out the videos that are coming at the end. And also don't forget to check out all my links in my description. Um, show you all the software that I use to create everything that I do. So guys, take care and I'll see you on the next one.